Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my talk um, titled, I Need More Space. It's not you, it's Blue Star. I'm Mohamed Jubai. I'm a software engineer at SUSE. Uh, the outline for today is pretty easy. It's just a couple of examples that I've stolen from the Safe Users mailing list that talk about um, questions that users have had about space usage and Ceph. Um, you might be familiar with the Ceph DF command. It's a command that shows, gives the statistics about Ceph uh, and the space. Uh, basically, it tells you the capacity of all of your cluster, how much data has been used, how much uh, is available. Um, you have the row storage section, which is really in terms of plain bytes. Uh, and you have the pool section, which is more at a higher level and takes into consideration you know, logic, uh, radius objects, pools, repli uh, you know, smart about replication, uh, etc. So the pool section is really what you would expect from a user's standpoint. The row, se the row section is really uh, bits and bytes. Uh, if we look at the first example, uh, the max available number in the pool section. I have in this cluster uh, 76 GB in total size, and I've used 17 G uh, GB of it. Yet the used percentage is about 92%. So 17 GB out of 76 GB, how does it make sense that it's 92% used? And I have only 1.5 GB left. How's, how does that uh, make any sense? Well, if you look at the uh, data distribution, uh, you know, the OSDs are unbalanced, uh, to say the least. All of them have 5% used, and one of them has 94% used. Uh, so we discover here that max available is not really how much data is free on the, your cluster, it's just how much data you can still write before any one of the OSDs becomes full. So it's uh, maybe a little bit misleading, uh, but that's the case. So the solution here is very simple. It's ju you just have to rebalance uh, data across your cluster. You can use the uh, upmap balancer, and uh, you'll be good to go. This is the second example that I have. I created an RBD. That is uh, one terabyte in size. I map it to a client node, uh, make a, a XFS file system on it, run CFDF. I see that 500 megabytes are used out of one terabyte. I'm good with that. It's a thin provision. Uh, the 500 megabytes are probably the overhead of XFS. All, it, it looks good. I mount the RBD, create a bunch of files. I have here 500 files that are six megabytes each for a total of 3G. Uh, look at CFDF, 3.4 GB used. I'm fine with that. 3 GB for the data, 0.4 GB for XFS metadata. All is good. Uh, I go and then delete half of the files. So I have 1.5 GB uh, used, as you can see at the last line. Run CFDF, it's still 3.4 GB. So I freed basically space inside my RBD. Yes, CFDF still sees it. Um, more or less, you know, more data is being used. And that's really a, pr a problem that happens elsewhere and, uh, you know, wherever there's thin provisioning. Uh, you might see it in malloc, for instance, in, in VMs. Uh, whenever you have thin provisioning and you uh, create data and then you let it go, uh, the underlying system doesn't necessarily know that you let, let it go. So the solution here is to run FS trim on the file system. So uh, you will deallocate all the unused blocks. And we see that CFDF uh, goes back to what is expected. So 1.5 GB for the data, 0.5 for the XFS overhead. Uh, it looks good. Um, another example that you might not run, run into, if, uh, but it's still interesting to mention. I uh, use Rados put to uh, push 100 objects that are 100 bytes each, so 100 small objects. Uh, I look at the uh, CFDF and I see that uh, stored is 10 kilobytes, which is what I expected, 100 times 100 bytes. But the used is 6.2 megabytes, so a pretty big overhead. And that is due to the granularity of Blue Store. So on, on spinners, the smallest allocation unit is 64 kilobytes. So if we multiply 64 kilobytes times 100 objects, uh, we get 6.2 megabytes. Uh, you know, effectively used, um, which is really uh, not very efficient. The solution here is mostly to write bigger objects or to decrease the minimum allocation size. That's not really a good idea. You probably better uh, 
try to optimize your application. Either use a higher level like a RGW or RBD, or uh, basically just write bigger objects. And here, if I look at the 100 um, large objects, stored and used is identical. One last example, uh, similar to what I just saw with the compression. If I enable compression on blue store, uh, and I look at the perf dump, there are three compressed numbers. You have blue store compressed original, which is the data uh, pushed by the user. So coming into the compression algorithm, you have blue store compressed, which is what is coming out of the compression, and blue store compressed allocated, which is again what is used on disk. So you might have uh, a difference between th those two. If the, your objects are too small, uh, then you will have a lot of overhead. Um, basically identical to the example that I just showed. So um, again, the solution write large objects, and that is it for me.